Hey guys, today we will learn how to say 30 drops in Cantonese and Vietnamese. Sam sap ko quang tung wa thom yit nam wa ke kum cho pak wan. Let's get started. Let's talk about the job that all Asian parents love. Number one, lawyer. Lawyer is luật si, luật si, luật si, luật sư, luật sư. Number two, doctor. Doctor, we say yi sang, yi sang, yi sang, bác sĩ, bác sĩ. So, yi is mean medical, to cure, to cheat. And sang is mean to be born, get birth, go, and life. So combine them, yi sang is mean to cure any living things. So yeah, that's how we say doctor. Number three, salary man. They job you start everywhere in the world, okay? So salary man, we say ta cung chảy, ta cung chảy, ta cung chảy, ta cung chảy. Người làm công ăn lương, or you can say người làm công. This word ta cung chảy is used for a lot of jobs like your office clerk or teacher or worker or any kind of job you can say oh ngọ hay tả cung chảy so the word door and barbie we also say cung chảy okay don't get confused tả cung chảy is the slang to say you are salary man and cung chảy it just mean barbie and dot okay cung chảy and vietnamese bấp bê or bấp bê bấp bê bấp bê and fun fact the word bê we borrow from French. Number four, worker and labor. We say công nhân, công nhân, công nhân, công nhân, công nhân or người lao động. Number five, manager. Manager is kinh lị, kinh lị, kinh lị, kinh lị, giám đốc, giám đốc. If you want to speak more properly, you say Sam Dog. Number six, secretary. We say Bê suy, Bê suy, Bê suy. Thư ký, Bê thư, or Thư ký, Bê thư. You can use all of them, we still understand. Number seven, accountant. Accountant is Wui Kai Si, Wui Kai Si, Wui Kai Si. Vui cây si, kế toán, or kế toán viên. Number eight, IT, or information technology. We say, chi xuân kỳ xuân, chi xuân kỳ xuân, chi xuân kỳ xuân, chi xuân kỳ xuân. In Vietnam, you can say, IT, or công nghệ thông tin. Number nine, nurse. We have two ways to say, vù si, vù si. Wu si. Wu si is for both male and female. And gu neng. Gu neng is just for female only. But uh, the correct way to say is gu neng. But the majority mostly say gu leng. Gu leng. Gu leng. So I recommend you guys to use gu leng. E ta. E ta. Number 10 is author. Author is jokka. Chọc ca, chọc ca, chọc ca, tác giả, or tác xã. Number 11, farmer. We have two ways to say. First one, nùng phu, nùng phu, nùng phu, nùng man, nùng man, nùng man. You can use both of them. Nông dân, nông dân. Number 12, chef. Chef is tài chủy, tài chủy. Tài chủy, tài chủy, đầu bếp. Chef is sound more professional. And number 13, you are cook. So cook is chủy si, chủy si, chủy si, chủy si, người nấu ăn. Well, cook is everyone can be a cook. Your mom, your dad, your cousin, your sister, your grandma, your friends. So they call cook, not chef. Chef, it's just like you manage everything. So yeah, big difference. 
Number 14. Office Walker. We have two ways to say. You can use both of them. First one, Jik Yun. Jik Yun. Jik Yun. Or, Yun Kung. Yun Kung. Yun Kung. Nhân viên văn phòng. Nhân viên văn phòng. Number 15. Manage. Manage is Gun Lei. Gun Lei. Gun Lei. Gun Lei. Wang Lei. Number 16. Magicians. Magicians is Ma Sut Si. Ma Sut Si. Ma Sut Si. Ma Sut Si. Ảo thuật gia. Or nhà ảo thuật. Number 17. Household duties. Household duty is ca mù, ca mù, ca mù, ca mù, nội trợ, nội trợ. This world, ca mù, is for both male and female. Number 18. Housewife. Housewife also a job. So love your mother. Chủy phụ, chủy phụ, chủy phụ, chủy phụ, người nội trợ. This world, chủy phụ, is for woman only. Number 19. Police officer. Police officer, we had three ways to say, but don't worry, you can use all of them. The first one, kính chat, kính chat, kính chat, kính chat. The slang one, chai yan, chai yan, chai yan, chai yan, chai lũ, chai lũ, chai lũ, cảnh sát, cảnh sát. Number 20. Waiter or waitress. We say, Si Ying. Si Ying. Si Ying. Si Ying. This word is more formal. Phục vụ. Phục vụ. We have another word. is Phỏ Kỳ. Phỏ Kỳ. Phỏ Kỳ. Phỏ Kỳ. Phục vụ. This word you must know because every Cantonese speaker know this word and it's really common. And in Vietnam and China, they use different words. They say, Phục mù, Phục mù, Phục mù, or Phục mù duyên, Phục mù duyên, Phục mù duyên, Người phục vụ. And here the list, so you guys don't get confused. Si Ying, Phỏ Kỳ, Phục mù duyên. And in Vietnam, I noticed most people say Phục mù or Phỏ Kỳ. We really great to use si ying, but you can try it. Number 21, delivery man. Let's speak about Hong Kong way first. Hong Kong, uh, they say, sum pho chảy, sum pho chảy, sum pho chảy, or just short way, sum pho, người giao hàng, người giao hàng. But delivery stew, we say in different ways. We say, sum ngòi mai. Sung ngòi mai, sung ngòi mai, giao đồ ăn, giao đồ ăn. But in Saigon, Vietnam, we have another way to say is chủ cao phò, chủ cao phò, chủ cao phò, or chủ choi phò, chủ choi phò, chủ choi phò, làm giao hàng, làm chở hàng. But Hong Kongers still understand us. It just Sometimes they use it, sometimes they don't. So the word joy is meant to get a ride for people, things, or animals. So joy yan or joy ye, joy tung mặt, chở người, chở đồ vật, chở động vật. But we also have another word is che, che yan, che ye. Let's learn some sentence. Can you give me a ride to get back home? Nị họ gì? Chê mài ngọ. Phan úp khỉ mà. Nị họ gì? Chê mài ngọ. Phan úp khỉ mà. Nị họ gì? Chê mài ngọ. Phan úp khỉ mà. Or you can say, Nị họ gì? Chê mài ngọ. Phan úp khỉ mà. Bạn có thể chở tôi về nhà được không? Or, bạn có thể chở tôi về nhà được không? Number 22. Barber. We say, Fei Fa Si, Fei Fa Si, Fei Fa Si. And if you want to speak more properly, we say, Lei Fa Si, Lei Fa Si, Lei Fa Si, Thở Cắt Tóc. Number 23, Baker. 
But in Cantonese, we translate it make K make bread master. Jing Bang Si Fu Jing Bang Si Fu Jing Bang Si Fu Ta Lam Ban Ta Lam Ban The word Jing Bang Si Fu I heard we use in Vietnam or maybe overseas Chinese and um, we're not really sure about that. Let's say in Hong Kong way. They say Min Bao Si Fu Min Bao Si Fu Min Bao Si Fu In Vietnamese it also Ta Lam Ban Number 24, cleaner. In Cantonese, we say do cleaner, which is Jo ching git, Jo ching git, Jo ching git, Jo ching git, or ching git gum yan, ching git gum yan, lam ve sin, or lam lao gum. Number 24, YouTuber. So, YouTuber, you just need to say Jo YouTuber, Jo YouTuber. YouTuber. Vietnamese also the same. Lam YouTuber. Lam YouTuber. But if you want to sound more like Vietnamese speak English with Vietnamese accent, they say Lam YouTuber. Lam YouTuber. Yeah, that's how they say. Number 25. TikToker. Also the same. Jo TikToker. Jo TikToker. Vietnamese also the same. Lam TikToker. Làm TikToker But English with Vietnamese accent Làm TikToker Làm TikToker Mấy bạn Việt Nam làm ơn đừng có trách mình nha Mình nghe mấy bạn nói như vậy đó Number 26 Teacher I taught you guys before We say Xin sang Xin sang And xin sang also mean sir And Vietnamese also mean Thầy giáo, cô giáo or ngài which is Mr. You can call your female or male teacher is Xin Sang. Xin Sang is the neutral word for both gender. Ugi, let's review again. Teacher or teach. It Gao Si, Gao Si, Lu Si, Lu Si, and Xin Sang. And Vietnamese, Yao Ving, Yao Ving. And if your teacher is a female teacher in Vietnamese, they separate. They say, Cô giáo, Cô giáo, Cô giáo. And a male teacher is, Thầy giáo, Thầy giáo, Thầy giáo. Number 27, Professor is, Cao sầu, Cao sầu, Cao sầu. Giảng viên, Giảng viên. Number 28, Actor, Address. Well, you just say, Nội diễn duyên Nội diễn duyên Nội diễn duyên O Nội diễn duyên Nam diễn duyên Nam diễn duyên Nam diễn duyên Nam diễn duyên Vietnamese is diễn viên If you lazy, you just say diễn viên And if you want more specific Actor is diễn viên nam Diễn viên nam And address is diễn viên nữ Diễn viên nữ Number 29 Fireman Firefighter Is Siêu phòng duyên Siêu phòng duyên Siêu phòng duyên Siêu phòng duyên Lính cứu hỏa Lính cứu hỏa And number 30 The last job Gardener Gardener we have two ways To say is Pha wong Pha wong Pha wong Duyên tinh Duyên tinh Duyên tinh Người làm vườn Người làm vườn Pha wong It means king of flower And Duyên tinh The difference is the thing character This thing in this situation means worker and servant Because it combined with Duyên But depends on some words This word thing has a lot of different meaning And talk about jobs Jobs in Cantonese is Cung cho Cung chọc, cung chọc, công việc, công việc. And if you talk about career or occupation, we say chích dịp, chích dịp, chích dịp, chích dịp. Translate in Vietnamese is nghề nghiệp, nghề nghiệp. And job positions is chức quầy, chức quầy, chức quầy, chức vụ, chức vụ. 
and if you finish your work, you will have salary. So pay salary, pay wage, or pay off. You say chut lần, chut lần, chut lần, chut lần, trả lương, trả lương, or trả tiền lương, trả tiền lương. You can use both of them, trả tiền lương or trả lương. And here's the grammar. If someone asks you, you do what and what you work, you just say ngọ chù, dot dot dot, cung chọc, or ngọ hầy, dot dot dot, cung chọc. For example, ngọ chù, di xăng, or ngọ hầy, di xăng. Tôi làm bác sĩ, tôi làm bác sĩ, or tôi là bác sĩ, tôi là bác sĩ. And that's all for today. If you find it interesting and helpful or funny, please hit the like, comment down below, subscribe, share it, and hit the bell. I really like to read comments, so comment down below. And if you guys can donate for me, I really appreciate about it. It's make me will work harder to make video for you guys more. Okay, I wish you guys had a great day and amazing weekend and peaceful day. And I will see you guys on my next video. Hachikin. Bye.